starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Boys and girls, I ask you to join our Peace Patrol at school. Teachers, and parents, and postmasters, we need you too. Get behind the United States Saving Stamps program. The Peace Patrol is for everyone. The strength and glory of the land we love. Timmy, will you open the blinds, please? Well, students, we've all seen the importance of the Peace Patrol to the security and strength of our country. As the representative of the school association in this county, I'm very happy that all of the schools are participating in the Peace Patrol membership drive. And each of you students should be proud that you've been chosen to be captains of your school. We sure are. Now, uh, these are your sales kits. There's a poster to help in recruiting members. Your saving stamps, 25 cents to a dollar. Your Peace Patrol membership card. An album to paste your stamps in. And uh, each school will need a money box, which I advise be placed in your teacher's care. Uh, Timmy Martin, would you pass these to the other captains, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, the school which gets the largest number of members will receive a handsome plaque in honor of its patriotic effort. But, hear this. The school which gets the highest quota within two weeks will receive its plaque from the Lone Ranger in person. Yippee! Are there any questions? Mr. Rayburn, sir? Timmy. Do you have to fill the whole album to join? No, Timmy. A student can become a peace patroller by buying only a 25-cent savings stamp. Thank you. And when your album is filled with stamps totaling $18.75, bring it to the bank and turn it in for a $25 savings bond. Any other questions? Well then, captains, get to work. I pledge myself to learn. I pledge myself to learn. Because knowledge and understanding. Because knowledge and understanding. Will help keep peace in the world. Will help keep peace in the world. To save because United States saving bonds and stamps. To save because United States saving bonds and stamps. Will help keep our country strong. Will help keep our country strong. Gosh, only one 25 cent stamp and I'm a peace patroller. Was I first in our school? Uh-huh, excepting for me. That's because you're captain. Long as I'm second, I guess that makes me a lieutenant. I could sure use somebody to help me. Of course you could. But Mr. Rayburn didn't say anything about lieutenants. Every captain has a lieutenant. Mom, what do you say? Well, I don't know. Who's head of the Peace Patrol drive? The Long Ranger. Well, the Long Ranger has a lieutenant, doesn't he? Tonto, he's got Tonto. And you've got me. We'll both get the Long Ranger to come here. And Silver, too. Yippee! Come on, Lassie. I suppose that Timmy should set an example for the others, being captain of the Peace Patrol Drive. That's the trouble with being captain or committee chairman of anything. Either do all the work or pay all the money. <laughs> you know, if I had a job, I could get lots of nickels and dimes. Well, you must have quite a few tucked away in that little bank of yours. Yeah, but I'm not supposed to touch them. It's just gathering dust sitting there. Oh, no, it isn't. Dust can't get in my bank. <laughs> <laughs> what your Uncle Petrie means is that saving stamps grow into bonds, and bonds gather interest. You get enough bonds together, and they'll earn more money for you than a job can. Gosh, I've saved up 75 cents. Can I have it all? You certainly may. Fifty, 
I just wanted to see if I could shake some more out. I guess that's all there is. <laughs> All the kids in school members. Except Frankie Jessup. Yeah, a new kid. And you can have him. Why? He's on your list. Yeah. Well, the third time I asked him to join, he said he'd beat up on anyone who even looked like they were gonna ask him again. He did? And he meant it, too. Gosh, how do you figure a kid like that? <laughs> Frankie to join. Oh, we've got to do something. It's Friday already. Well, I don't want to get beat up. But Monday's our last day. If we're going to get the Lawn Ranger and Silver to come. Yeah. So let's go back. It's Frankie's turn to stay after school. <laughs> What's the matter, Sonny? You get caught talking in class? No, we take turns cleaning up. Don't they have a janitor here? No. Well, uh, who's in charge? Maybe they'll hire one. Miss Hazlitt, I guess. Where'll I find her? I don't know, maybe in Calverton. Thanks, Sonny. About beating you up? About beating up whoever asked him to join? Well, that's you. Oh, and he meant it, too. What are you doing here? He wants to talk to you. Well, I don't want to talk to him or you. Why won't you join the Peace Patrol? Didn't Boomer tell you that the Long Ranger and Silver would come in person? If our school got the most members by Monday? I told them all right. Why don't you want them to come? You put that down. It's the money box. It's got all our Peace Patrol money in it. Yeah, from every kid in school, but you. I said I'd beat up the next kid who tried to make me join. Nobody can make you join. But why won't you? It's none of your business, see? Let's go, Boomer. I've been. Today was the Grange ladies' luncheon. Oh. Know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell the whole school about that old Frankie Jessup. And when I get done, nobody will even talk to him. But that way, he'll never join the Peace Patrol. What do you think, Mom? Well, since this is the Lone Ranger's project, why don't you try and do what he'd do? Try and find out what makes Frankie act that way. But he won't tell us. Well, in that case, He'd probably scout around with Tonto and learn what he could. Yeah. But what would he do when he found out? Well, then I think he'd probably try to help Frankie instead of fight him. Come on, Tonto. Let's go scouting. Yeah. Sure 
wish there was a market for weeds. We're not making a go of it, are we, Dad? I wish I could say we were. You always said a man any farmer until he owns a piece of land of his own. Just buying this place took all my cash. I had no idea what it took to start a farm. Can I quit school, Dad? Schooling's what gives a man a chance to get ahead. I know, but that way I could get a job and maybe bring in some money. Oh, schooling comes first, son. Well, we haven't lost our farm yet. Not yet. But we're gonna, aren't we, Dad? Time's a-wasting. Don't be in such a hurry. Just because you won last night. Well, who won two nights in a row last week? Well, sure. But who won the other five? Mom, can I tell you how a peace patrol this afternoon? Oh, yes. Well, Tonto, Lassie, and I hit out over by Frankie Jessup's place. Oh, yes. And we found out what's wrong with Frankie. His father's gonna lose the farm. But they just moved in. I know, Mom. We heard Mr. Jessup tell Frankie that it took all his money to buy the farm, and now they can't make it go. But I still don't know why Frankie doesn't like me. Well, I think it may have something to do with the Peace Patrol. I don't understand, Mom. Well, Timmy, if the Jessups need money that badly, maybe even a... 25 cent saving stamp is too much to buy. Why didn't he tell me? Well, that's something that sometimes even adults are too proud to admit. They're my hens. Reckon I can give them to the Jessups if I want to. I'm not arguing with you. <laughs> I should have known. What are you taking? Well, I've always had a hunch that uh, soybeans that grow on that land. I'm backing my hunch with some seeds. You nearly ready, Ruth? I'm afraid you'll have to help me with this basket. <laughs> there you are. Nothing like a few good meals to help build a person's morale. I'll get the Grange helpers to lend a hand right away. I'm good. I'll, I'll get it. Hello? Oh, yes, Miss Hazlitt. Yes, he's here. <laughs> All right, just a minute. Timmy! Telephone. Miss Hazlitt. Am I supposed to be in school today? Oh, I don't think so. It's Saturday. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Miss Hazlitt? No. It's gone? Gosh, that's awful. Yes, ma'am. Goodbye. the money box. Miss Hazlitt's gonna tell the sheriff. Wow, who did it? Nobody knows. Miss Hazlitt forgot to take it home, and then when she came back to get it, it was gone. I bet Frankie stole it. I don't know. You heard him tell us Daddy was gonna bring some money home. Yeah, but we didn't see him take it. You're the captain. You better go looking for clues. Yeah, I guess that's right. Mom, we've got to go to school today. Today? It's about the Peace Patrol. Yeah, the captain has to tend to things. Oh. Okay, we'll see you later. <laughs> Come on, Lassie.
Mr. Jessup? Now, if you're looking for Frank, he ain't here. We, uh, we came to see you, Mr. Jessup. Oh, whatever it is, I can't buy it or join up. We, uh, we heard about your problem. We'd like to help, if we may. Well, the whole world's tumbling down. You think you can stop it? We'd like to try, Mr. Jessup. I've run out of money. I'm losing my farm, and now the sheriff's out looking for my son. The sheriff's looking for Frankie? Well, he was unhappy in school, count of the farm being so poor. But he didn't steal that money box. Oh, that must be why the teacher telephoned Timmy. Where's Frankie now? Well, he ran off when the sheriff came to question him. But he didn't do it. Now, Frankie's a good boy, you hear? Mr. Jessup, would you like to drive around with us now and see if we can find him? Oh, I'd sure welcome a chance. Come on, hop in back with me. Not to get too close. It's the haunted barn. She's acting scared. She's just trying to be careful. I don't blame her. a thief. Because we trailed him, clean from school. Is it Frankie? We don't know. Well, we'll sure find out. I told you it wasn't Frankie. Everything's going to be all right now, son. I'm glad. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to all of you. And a special thank you to the members of the Lone Ranger Peace Patrol. You know, boys and girls, it's youngsters like you that make up the backbone of America. Growing up fine and free. And it's the saving stamps and bonds that you buy that help keep our country strong. I've presented plaques to many schools throughout our land. But I take special pride in presenting the plaque for this school to a lad who did his job in the best Lone Ranger Peace Patrol tradition. <laughs> Jimmy, I congratulate you and your school for doing a Fine job. Come on, son. Boomer Bates. 
Congratulations to you too, son. Tano couldn't have done a better job than you did. Until today, Silver was the only animal in the Peace Patrol. But now, we proudly welcome another. Ladies and gentlemen, a hand for Lassie. <laughs> Good girl, Lassie.